right, so foil drive. I'm on cruise control right now and I'm probably about 30% power and uh, I'm definitely traveling at a speed that's, you know, a decent paddle stroke, especially going into the wind and swell. Uh, just a little bit of assistance. Obviously, I'm only going about just a fraction of the, uh, the force I would normally put into uh, paddling, and it really does help. Um, now, I'm just going to turn and try and catch. I hope you can see the swell, the state of the swell. It's, I don't know, six to eight knots at the most. The swell is about one foot at the most from that, from the bottom to the top of the troughs. And uh, yeah, normally I wouldn't stand a chance in hell of being able to catch this swell. So let's see what foil drive can help me with. So there we go. That was about, I don't know, five second burst on the foil drive. Um, pretty much pump myself straight up onto the foil and now I'm able to ride this swell because I'm using the Atlas 1300 which is just incredible for gliding on on this small swell um, it really is amazing I mean I've never been able to pump up on flat water um, just through my paddle but with this thing I can and obviously with a little bit of swell that we got today makes it really easy Whew. now I'm just gonna put it back onto cruise control a little bit of Um, I wouldn't normally use cruise control for every time I go back out. I'm doing it today because it's 44 degrees and I know my time is limited out in the water, uh, otherwise I'll collapse from heat stroke. Nearly. Okay, let's give it another go. One, two, three. Four. There you go, four, four paddle strokes, and I've got to admit, not with the most amount of effort that I've ever had to put into paddle strokes, and we're up on the swell, such as it is, and having fun. Oh yeah. Another go. Another go. That's okay. See if I can talk and down the window. I can't tell you how effective this four drive unit really is. Uh, what else to say? Okay. Definitely adds its weight, three kilograms, and you can feel it, but not to the point where it's a big problem. I mean, yeah, if you add three kilos onto any setup, you're going to feel it. Um, but even the norm, my normal setup without three kilos, I can't get up and running. So I'm happy to use an extra three kilos, sacrifice the. Uh, um, uh, I don't know, maneuverability, performance, that's the word, that, uh, that's the compromise, but you're not talking about using a four drive in a situation where, you know, you've got head high waves and you want to be doing cutbacks, you want to be doing aerials, there's no way, that's not its application. So in my opinion, when used for the right applications, this unlocks so much potential. And I said that you can't use it on head high. Well, actually, 
if you go way out past the shoulder, you'll be able to catch it very, very safely and then utilize that power from that wave, but further out, way from the critical section, you know, like off the shoulder. And uh, A, you're away from other people who are wanting to utilize that and are better equipped for it. Um, B, it's safer and you guaranteed more rides and less effort, you know. So, yeah. You lose a little bit of a little bit of performance, but uh, for most of what you'll be doing, when the conditions warrant using the four-wheel drive, that's not really been a problem in my mind. Um, last thing I want to say is about the motor driving itself, the position on the car. Well. At the moment, because I'm a beginner with the uh, four drive unit, I'm getting used to it. I've got it 25 centimetres from the bottom of the board. Um, and yes, I have noticed a few times where um, I've not been high enough on the mast and I've felt the drag from the motor unit. But it doesn't suddenly stop you or anything like that. You do feel a little bit of drag, but it's not too bad and you can easily pump yourself back up in most instances, get a bit of height on the mast. Um, when I get a bit better and, and I don't need such a margin for error when I'm pumping up onto the foil for the first time, I will reduce that to 20 centimetres from the bottom of the board. And I think we all know how much of a difference five centimetres on a mast makes. Well, five centimetres extra play on the mast should make uh, life a lot easier when I'm used to it. Right, so let's turn. I mean, I am on cruise control again, you probably guess. So this is more like 20% whereas coming out here the first time is probably close to 40. So uh, let's see if I can give a few more demos. So you always best to get your balance first. Some may call it cheating, I call it having fun. Drive. The rest 
is up to you. Woo! Now this really is one foot swell. Absolute rubbish. But you can ride it. Of course it helps having a big foil like the Axis 1300. Stop recording.